Hello and welcome to Seven Super Series. I'm Ben from the Bonehead Podcast, and today I'm joined by Ian. Hello. How are you doing today, Ian? All right. I am great, thanks yourself. Oh, always good. So today we are going to be playing some Blood Bowl Sevens. This is going to be game one of round four of the first the first full season, um, and Ian, we are going to be seeing the Wood Elves, the Wild Hunters, against the Chaoslings, the Halfling team. So, have you played much Sevens before? Uh, dabbled a tiny bit. Um, played uh, probably a couple of months ago now on the channel against Good Guy Lewis. You did actually. Those two are two of our most popular games, um, which was really <laughs> good. Although I did accidentally manage to delete one of them, so uh, I need to re-upload that. So yeah, uh, I played gob- goblins previously. So I'm was... obviously a glutton for punishment coming back to play uh, <laughs> halflings. That's right. So Ian is going to pilot the chaoslings, and I'm going to take the wood elves and see if we can't get them their first win of the season. So what we'll do now is we'll quickly talk through each of the lists, we'll talk through how we're feeling about the game and what we expect, and then we'll just get started. So let's bring up the team list for the Chaos Links. So we have got, so they've no, no wins, one loss and one draw so far, they've had their bye week. We've got Fan Factor 1, a Master Chef, which is going to be huge in sevens. So every half they roll 3d6 so they can get up to three rerolls now normally they're stealing rerolls but the wood elves don't have any so they're just going to generate new ones which is fine but the real fun part of this team is the two tree men so the first tree men has got block and break tackle and the second tree men has got block and after the last round multiple block then we've got two halfling catchers and one two three four five halfling hopefuls have you seen what the catchers do these days? No, so I have played a few uh, games with the old halflings, so I am really interested to see how these uh, new positionals get on. The catchers are great. They're plus 20k, and they come with uh, catch, which is really good for handoff, and sprint. Fantastic. So yep. basically it's buy one, get one free on a skill up, because they yep. would normally take one of those to help with their efficiency. So they're just they're just really good players. Um, block, break tackle on a, on a tree man is fantastic. Um, they do not move very fast, but if you're willing to risk the go for it, they can mosey right into the middle of cages and just hurt people, which we did see last round. Yeah, and it's going to be really useful for the throw teammate as well, in terms of opponents can't shut you down by surrounding you. That's exactly you right. You break out. They, they bounce out the player. and they get no tackle zones on. They've got um, strong arm anyway, so it, they kind of have a little bit of inbuilt defence but yeah it is really easy to base a tree man to ruin that throw teammate try uh, after the last game Brogard the Vengeful got uh, mu- multiple block he's got a lot of enemies <laughs> exactly <laughs> he's he's going for it like Liam Neeson um, so Liam Neeson the tree man with multiple block it will be interesting to see against Wood Elves whether we get to see that in action or not yeah I'm, I mean Short of you making a mistake or, you know, getting an unlucky yep. mo- turnover, I'm not really imagining you're going to leave too many players in contact with a strength six tree. Absolutely not. But there are always those ones, and that's what we've seen so far from the Wood Elves this season. So, <laughs> essentially, these two are at the bottom of the league. <laughs> and this is the last game for the Wood Elves, and the Halflings have got this game and then one more coming up. And they are both winless. Uh, if the Wild Hunters lose this one and the Halflings win, they are done for the season. That's it. They're going to be eliminated. So No pressure. No. So like you said, it's the it's the battle of the losers. Um, and it will be a lose and out situation for the Widows. Halflings, uh, well, they've still got one game to pull it off. Well, all they would need at that point is a, is a, a draw. So appropriately, half a chance. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, <laughs> half a chance. Uh, we'll run through the Wild Hunters roster now. And we have gone top heavy with a war dancer. So the list is war dancer, thrower, two catchers, and three linemen. So slightly different build than you would normally see. Basically, there's two choices: you've got a war dancer, thrower, and a two catchers, or you've got two war dancers and all linemen. Yeah. It seemed more fun to go with two catchers and thrower to get those skills and that movement out there. I think so. Yeah. But um, we've not seen great success so far. But the war dancer now has strip ball and sidestep. So he's jumping in, popping that ball out, and uh, if you're hitting him and he doesn't go down because he's got blodge... Yeah, he's going to be hard to... He's going to stay behind that ball carrier. Get where you want him to be, yeah. The thrower's taken leader to get that very important re-roll when you were leaping about, uh, and one of the catchers was given leap after the second or, or third game <laughs> because apparently risking it with one guy isn't enough. Uh, but the move eight 
dodge leap guy with catch and sprint is huge. So three plus, they're out of there. It's uh, that's, that's the thing, though, isn't it? Three plus without that reroll is uh, yeah, not always the most reliable. <laughs> hey, three plus with sure hands is the well, least three reliable. Three plus with dodge, I seem to find <laughs> as well. Yeah. Well, that's what you get for running Amazons. <laughs> Um, brilliant. So, after looking at the team list, how, do you, how are you feeling about the match? Uh, I think it's very much going to come down to who makes the mistakes uh, and who can just hold their nerve. Um, <laughs> obviously, Wood Elves have got that really quick strike potential of scoring in one or two, well, two turns probably, realistically, in sevens. Uh, yeah. Um, whereas Halflings are going to probably need a few turns or... Well, kind of pull the trigger and get throwing or the or the one turn touchdown yeah, yeah. I'm not sure if we've seen one of the season so far but we I'll, have I'll try not to disappoint <laughs> <laughs> we've definitely seen some halflings thrown as ammunition so it should be interesting cool ready to go absolutely alright let's have a look Okay, so here we have the Chaoslings. Ian, would you talk us through what you're running? Absolutely, so we have, first of all, the two tree men. Uh, we have got Steelheart, who has got break, tackle, and block. So he's looking to uh, break in, break out, do some punching. He's your maneuverable tree man. <laughs> Says with movement too. <laughs> uh, we've also got our second tree man here, uh, Brugged the Vengeful, who has multiple block and block. So again, quite punchy. Then we've got the two halfling catchers, and then five lovely flings down there. Magic, and they're running one fan factor and a master chef. Absolutely, yeah. So looking for some reros. And here we have the wild hunters. We've got three linemen, a thrower with leader, a war dancer with strip ball and sidestep. So he's going to be interesting. A catcher with a leader up, uh, a catcher with a leap upgrade, and just a regular catcher. So the first roll is for weather. So one dice each. It's a 10, which is perfect weather. That's good. Sounds good to me. Yeah. And then the fan factor roll. So 2d6 each. Uh, I'm rocking five. And the halflings have got six because they've got the plus one fan factor. Okay. Yep. So halflings get fame plus one. So I'll put a little marker there to mark that. And then the all important kickoff roll. It's a five. And a one. Okay, so halflings, wood elves. Wood elves get to choose. Uh, if we receive first, we can score first, but then it's going to leave you the opportunity of the two on grind. So yeah. I think we'll kick to you. Sounds good. So absolutely didn't forget to do Master Chef. Ian, roll 3d6. See if you steal any of my non rerolls. Yeah, see what's cooking. Two. Two, that's not bad. I'll take that happily. Lovely. So Wood Elves are deployed, as are the Halflings. So as per the new rules from the NAF, this, this entire bit here is eligible to receive the kick. Um, before it was the case, then it wasn't written in the rules, and now it is 100% cleared up, which is fantastic. So I can go for an onside kick here. It is risky, but I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to try and apply the pressure. So I'm going to go for there. Um, I'm going to use the bonehead ball marker there. I'll pop it like that. And then 2d6, taking the lowest. So one square to five, so up there. Not, not, not terrible, disastrous. not terrible. Kick off table, it's, it's a 10, which is charge. Hmm. So on a charge result, the kicking team chooses a zero to three, and then everybody on that, everybody on the team moves that amount forward exactly. So while it is really tempting to get up against the ball, we do have the tree men here. Um, so we're looking at two for normal movement, one, and then a punch there. So I'm going to choose two and move all my guys up two squares. And then the ball lands and bounces to six, which is there. And then it will be Ian's first turn. Off we go. So turn one for the halflings. Okay, well, I should offer a hand first. Good luck. Three. Oh. First casualty. Yeah, I think that's only fair. Don't do that but again. No. <laughs> no. No, let's go for it. Okay, right, so we're on to turn one. Let's have a look here. So they are very much bearing down on the ball, so probably need to try and get some bodies around there. So let's go for the first tree man is going to attempt to move. Okay. So we'll try our take root roll. 
He's all right. Okay, that's fine. Good start. So he's got a movement of two. We'll put him there. Slow down there. <laughs> okay, so interestingly, that is the guy with block, break, tackle. So <laughs> if he ends up with the ball, he can break out. <laughs> and then 27 turns later, it's yes. a touchdown for a tree. Yeah, assuming I didn't roll there, the magical one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, so we'll go with our second tree man. So again, take root roll. He takes oh, root. Oh, dearie me. Now, you've got two re-rolls, and these guys don't have loner. Okay, well, I am going to use a re-roll. Okay. Because I'm not massively looking to blitz straight away with my poor movement. He's okay. all right. <laughs> Barely. So it's just getting around that ball is the uh, objective, really. What we should say is when Ian got these dice and rolled them for the very first time, <laughs> it was double sixes straight away. There is photographic evidence. And his little face dropped. <laughs> I knew I'd wasted it. Okay, right, let's move some of these guys up the pitch. So they've got movement five. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I am fully aware that I'm definitely going to get uh, that ball nicked in a minute. <laughs> we'll see what we can do. So move these guys. One, two, three, four, five next to the ball. Just in case. Uh, this guy, one, two, three, four, five. Right, and then here's where the ch the crowd goes wild, <laughs> starts the chant. We're going to attempt to pick up that ball. <laughs> so one, two, three. There we go. Three plus, and you're home safe. Ooh, Ooh. cop die. Drama. There it is. Another six. Thank you very much. So one, two, three. And then we will go right in between these tree men here. Okay. Uh, in fact, we'll go one back. As you say, you can go even further. Yeah, we'll, we'll go there. I know you've got a pretty big movement. Oh. So, to be honest, whichever way you slice it, let's go in between them. So then at least I've got some bodies on it. Because I think you could probably leap around the back or you've got pretty pretty might, crazy movement. Might be able to run around the back. Let's have a look. Yeah. Wood Elves turn one. So we've got a ball carrier and he's safely between two Dreamen. I'm sure we can find a way to have a punch of him, but I don't know if it's worth it because I'd need to use that leap to get in there and it's very tempting. But is there any way I can get around? No, I think it's going to have to be. I think it's going to have to be the reckless leap. So let's take away some <laughs> of these tackle zones. Get that ward answer in there. This is it, the temptation of, war, of uh, Wood Elves. So one, two. And then he dies. Uh, three, uh, three, uh, one, two, three, he dies. So that gets rid of all those tackle zones. If I was to run in there, it would be quite tricky. So not inclined to do that too much. So we will go for the glory leap. So leap blitz with this chap. Yep. Who is going to go straight off the bat, one, two, next door to you. So on. Is he going to land it? Three plus. He, he does. does there we go. So, one, two, and then he has got strength three against your strength two halfling. Indeed. He is distracting these guys and he's distracting these guys. So, two dice. You have got the dodge. I do indeed. But this is where strip ball comes in. Uh, so, we will push you straight back. The ball will go with you initially, and then it will pop out. Now, the real question is do we follow up? And I think. It is going to be safer to try and get out that side. <laughs> yeah, you'll be where you want to be. Yeah. Uh, oh, there's some tricky dodges. I don't think we're going to follow up, actually. Okay. So he's gone one, two, blitz for three. He's been pushed back, and we will bounce the ball. Seven woods, which is... Oh, no, into that square there. Okay. It's, it's slowed down the halfling slightly. So let's finish what we're doing <laughs> with this guy. Yeah, they were really building up ahead of steam. One, two, though. three, that's it. <laughs> hey, that tr those tree men were running. One, two, three. Uh, he's going to dodge out to there. So he's got dodge, so it's plus one, minus one. So that's a fail. And dodge reroll makes it. So one, two, three, four. And then there on a two plus. It's a three. He's fine. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. And then we'll go six. Seven. We'll just bring him back there as a, and we'll see about the next round. One, two, go for it. Mm, 
Dreamin have got some tasty targets there as it is. So, I am inclined to see if I can get a cheeky ball grab, but it would take some work. <laughs> it would take some work. No one likes a cheeky ball grab. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't sound fun. Uh, we're going to run a catcher up. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then he is heroically going to go for it to there. And then he's going to go for it to there. There we go. He takes it up to there. Now we've got a couple of guys here. So the thrower can get round there and have a go at the ball, but it's going to take some dodging. So I think the best thing to do is to one, two, three, four, five, six, dodge to there. And then seven, we'll tuck him in round the back and just sort of apply a bit of pressure. Harass. Yeah. And then we have got another leaper here who could leap onto the ball and then try and pick it up on a minus one, two, three. So that's, that's a very tall order. So I think the best thing is to bring him up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, apply a bit of pressure on the ball. And then we've got a catcher here. Now this catcher is probably free because we've got him there. So um, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm, we'll go there, actually. And that'll do it for the Wood Elves. Mr. Treeman here is so going to do a block. He's the guy with multiple block. But fortunately, there's only one guy. There's only one guy. However, being strength six and having one support yep. but the means power I've got of friendship. three dice. He gets three. So block. take root. Hopefully not. Yes. <laughs> so take root. So okay. we will pop a little bonehead mark. I'm not going to waste the reroll on that. So fine. Now let's see. You can still punch. get that three dice. Okay. Pa take Ooh, your pick. Wow. Pow, pow, pow. Which one do you want? Mm, so that one looks good. <laughs> so it knocks him. So you can go any of these uh, any of these spots here. Um, but presumably can't follow up. You can't take follow root. up. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's push him out to the side. And then roll some damage dice. Some up. See if I can break the armor. So six. So even with mighty blow, that's a no. Okay, got away with it. <laughs> okay. Then we have got the same going on over here. So yeah. this streamer will attempt to block. So take root first of all. He's all right. Okay, he's good. Okay, so this streamer is going to perform a block. He's passed his take root, and again he's got one support. So three dice. Okay, so again, any of those, we will pop him just here. So this one can follow up, but I'm not going to because it's a body on the ball. Absolutely, and two d six to break the armor. Let's hope so. Seven with mighty blow. Mighty blow it to eight. Yep. Is this the first casualty of the match? It's a knockout. We'll take it. So this is your thrower, was it? Guy with the ball, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move. This guy here. He's gonna go one, two, three, four. Just to make you do some dodges. And this guy is gonna come one, two, three, four, five. Then we are gonna perform a block with this fling. And he gets his plus two. two friends. So that's two dice, and you choose. <laughs> oh wow! Uh, ooh, is, is it, it time for that second reroll already? I mean, I, s I came in with nothing, <laughs> so we'll, t we'll take it. Why not? There okay, you go. We'll get take the pal. You were rewarded. If nothing else, it will cause some embarrassment. <laughs> uh, we won't follow up because again, it's a body on the ball. Uh, nothing. Okay, that's good because he's the leader elf. Yeah, that would have helped actually. Okay, and then over here, we may as well try and get this chap out. Yep. So that's three plus because he has this. He's, he's got, got dodge. dodge. He's got dodge. Yes. All right. So, so that's one. one, two, three. That's another dodge. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, where was so? Let me just sorry retrace yeah, no, no, that. No, no, no. So one. 
two, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, what you can do is go one, two, three. Okay, that makes more sense. And four. Then, yeah, four to we'll, we'll go there. Thanks. Okay. And we'll end it there. Woodalf turn two. So we managed to pop the ball out, but we didn't manage to secure it. I still have a ward answer, but there are so many halflings on that ball that not even wood elves can pick that up. <laughs> um, All it takes is a six. <laughs> <laughs> that is true and very tempting. But I think what we're going to do is just go for some murder of halflings. Mm. Yeah, you're one, one body down at the moment. So it's probably good to Let's see if we can even the numbers. The ward answer is going to blitz. So he's going to go one, two, three, four. And he's going to blitz that guy. So strength three against strength two. Two dice. So one, two, three, four. I'll take the both down. Yep. So this is five squares. Doesn't it break the good. armor. Chunky armor. Probably should have pushed to get that yeah, ball I, away. I thought you were going to push him on the ball there. And then actually we'll fall back. Five, six, Very seven. Eight, and I think I'm going to have to go for it to there, just to protect him from the tree mountain. He's all right. Then we can sacrifice some more linesmen. One, two, again, five pressure on the ball, and we'll go one, two, three with him, and then four, five, six, seven. So it does leave us open on this side. So we'll one, two, three, stand up the thrower. Yep. And then we will bring this leap catcher. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine into there. I wanna go for it. She could be reckless, but he's okay. That'll do. Okay, so halfling turn three. So we'll start with the safe move of getting this guy back on his feet and then I think I have got a play here but it is going to come down to a one die block Ooh. Um, you're out of rerolls I am out of rerolls but my thinking is I can push this guy into the back of him so all I'd need is a push and then my tree man can come in oh nice feeding into the tree man yeah the other option I've got is obviously trying to one dice this guy given that he is also strength two and then I'd get another one die on there, so. Yeah, well at the moment actually that would be two die uphill because you're taking up my tackle zones. So, I think, yeah, we'll we'll go with, let's try and move, oh, I'm gonna try and blitz. He's just stood up. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna try and uh, blitz with the tree man. I like it. One. So, take root, first of all. He's Fine. okay. So we're simply just going to come across there. All oh, right. Which is another three die because I have got, <laughs> if you can see, <laughs> well, a little halfling friend down there. That purple guy is strength two anyway. So. Oh, okay. Well, all the better. <laughs> Can I have a fourth dice. Four die block. Okay, let's see what happens. Ooh, uh, I thought that was going to be. He has got block to be. He fair. does have block, and the catcher does not. I mean, I'm partially tempted to take them both down just so he's within crushing distance if he stands up yeah no it makes sense but then again there's the chance of the the crowd surf if uh, if he messes up oh no it's both yeah yeah we'll go for there and, and I, I will follow Ooh, put that pressure on the sideline okay let's see okay two dice and you've got mighty blow if you need it so don't need it on the first roll breaks the armor let's hope for something big here so it's a seven, so we'll make it a knockout. Mighty blow, that's knockout number two. One die block here, so a strength two on a strength two. Okay, perfect. It's the sky. <laughs> <laughs> there we are. And the re-rolls are gone. Push too far. Seven breaks the armor. Yeah. Oh, oh, he's he's stunned. Just on his face. And thanks to my uh, my lovely trip over here you've got a, a free body here as well lots of options for the wood elves here but they've got to press the advantage because wood elves losing to halflings is just unnecessary <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to say this guy is going to have a go at this halfling yep so that's two dice strength three against strength two hmm only a push 
but we can push him on the ball. Mm. There's so many guys around, it would be risky. So we'll pop him there next to that tree man, and we won't follow up. So that's sure. him done. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's probably for the best. He is going to block that guy again. Two dice. Perfect. And dodge, saving the day. So he'll tuck him to there, and he will follow up, even though there's a, a second halfling there, so we can get some good blocks. That has essentially helped very little, with the exception of a possible chain block. Now this will knock it onto the ball. So the thrower here, he is going to block him, but he will get minus one strength. Mm. So it would be a one die block. So it might not be the best thing to do. We're going to blitz with the ward answer. Three. He's going to go one. Where you been? <laughs> two, three, four. And I think he's going to have to go actually four to there, and then we'll blitz that guy. So two dice. We will take the both down again. Yep. Breaks the Sounds armor. Good. Seven, which is knocked out for stunty. Stunty, yes. There so that's go. four. And then... Is there five with the blitz? Yeah, five with the blitz, and then six. We'll just pop him there. Oh, you're not feeling like going for it then. Well, what we can do now is dodge out the thrower. <coughs> so he dodges away, and on a two plus... Ooh. <laughs> one. Two. Uh, three. Four. Five. And then... Six. Okay. So, plus one, minus two. So, plus one, Four minus plus. two. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> so that was what? One, two, three, four, five, five. six, five? Six. Mm, I feel like it might one, be six. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. yeah. And then he will dodge away to there for a seven. Oh. There it is, oh. but he will use his own leader reroll. Oh no! Oh, to double <laughs> on it, so he goes down. Okay, let's see what happens. He's, He's fine. fine, but the just ball, embarrassed. The ball does scatter to seven. So that's onto your player. Okay, and he's minus two to catch. Oh no! Super sevens. So there right. we are. So he uh, he stumbles and dies, but he's okay. And that is the end of the turn. So, halfling turn four, and it's turning into a bit of a ruck down here. So let's see what we can do. Okay, so we're gonna start with, if you can believe it, behind this giant, there is a player. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> so he's gonna move round. One, two, three, four, five. To come in there on the war dancer. I don't like what's coming here. Uh, well, I'm gonna try Desperately hoping I don't roll the one now. Okay, so take root. He's, He's fine. All right. Whew. So it's going to move one in there, and it's another three die. And 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 the rest. That's strength eight against strength three. Yeah. Oh no, it's That's only strength that, seven. Yeah, because you've got that tackle yeah, in yeah, there. Quite right. Okay. We'll there we go. Under. He gets it. I am going to push him towards this treatment because it'd be rude not to really, and I uh, will follow up. Ooh, although I'm half a mind to uh, try and move in here in a minute with a go for it, but we'll see. So, armour. Six, nope. He gets away with it. <laughs> uh, okay. So, what bodies have we actually got left? Let's have a look. So, you've got the ball there. Um... That'll be a one die. So, okay, so I think I will, in fact, <laughs> risk it for a go for it down here. Okay. It's anything but a one. It's a two. He's okay. <laughs> okay, that's good. So that just gets me another body on there so I can do a block. So this halfling here is going to have a go at your lineman. And he has two supports now. He does indeed. So two dice for the halfling. It's a push. It's a double push. But that's actually okay because oh no. I'm going to push him towards the tree man. So let's make a bit of space in there. Oh, multiple block. 
and I will follow up obviously to get that extra body so in there. You're looking strength six, seven, eight. Yep. <laughs> yeah, and then well, yeah. Then we okay, go. so he'll so have a go. So take. Well, he's already taken. He doesn't need to. That. Yeah, he doesn't need to. Yeah, right, and let's hope for uh, nothing bad here. Has he got dodge? Who is it? Is it a lineman? Uh, a lineman. He does not have dodge. Perfect. So we'll take that. And it's a chain push as well. So you, you're gonna have to diagonally shunt somebody. So I'm Free gonna true push, man push my own. Can you do that? Is yeah. That tree man. So because he's going diagonally, you could shuffle this tree man yeah, if you wanted to, but it depends where you want to. So he could move into him. Could yeah. he then go there? Yeah. Okay. Let's do that. Because it just kind of closes the cage a little bit. And halfling's there still. Yeah. And who was it? He oh, was I've got there. him in my hand. <laughs> you, you, you've got him so in your hand. <laughs> Sorry. So, so he's yeah. down there. And so I, I can't follow up. No. So armor first. Okay. And again, mighty blow. No. He's all right. Mm, you're lacking and it out then here. the ball. So you're looking for a five or a seven. Here we go. Seven. Which is this guy so here. Uh, unmodified. So yeah, four plus. Straight four plus. Hey. He catches it. And he hasn't moved yet. <laughs> that is impressive. So I think it's time to leg it. <laughs> so we will go one, two, three, four, five. Has the Wardance got jump up? Uh, no. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, and then that's me out of players. So we'll turn this guy onto his back and cross our fingers. <laughs> well, that was a terrible turn for the Wood Elves. We've got two guys knocked out and a breakaway with a halfling, <laughs> which is just obscene. So let's see if we can't put a bit of pressure, because at the moment you've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mm. squares to go. I could really have done with stunning your war dancer there, to be honest. So you are... It is what it is. So you are two go for its away from a touchdown. So let's see if we can't make you sweat it a little so he's not in any tackles in so one two three four five six seven move him there and just see if we can't apply a bit of pressure he's probably going to stay there <laughs> one two three four five six seven so i can get a one die block with a catcher which is 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 tempting so it's one die block with a catcher on a go for it mm. or no, of course you could propel me forward <laughs> well, yeah, that's it. One less go for it. <laughs> or we try the war dancer. Mm. Who's going to have to go dodge, dodge. Well, he, could, he could leap, to be fair. It's better to dodge twice, I think. I've used my reroll. True, okay. And then dodge, dodge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think that's what we're going to have to do. So, one, two, three. So, is this a blitz? Yep. Four to there on a dodge roll. So, it's a three plus. It is. Yep. And then. One, two, three, four, five, there. Again, another dodge. Ooh. So. Dodge skill, save us. Yeah. He gets it. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we will blitz. Yeah. Two dice. Oh, oh, brilliant. But you have so, strip ball. Yeah, so we'll pop you there. And we'll follow up. Okay, so it's got the potential to go off here. Yeah. yeah, so let's scan the ball. It's a one. Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> On to the Wood Elf, who drops Ooh, it. Oh, yes. And a one again. Some nice elven BS. <laughs> okay, so that was eight, and I think he's going to dodge away on the nine. So, go for it. Dodge roll. Dodge roll. Oh! He's already failed he's, his dodge Yeah, he's used his dodge He's really used well. dodge. That's it. He goes down. He's so stacked it. Armour. Yeah. Oh, no. He's Eight. Knocked out. He's knocked out. And then he lands on the ball, and the ball goes to four. Oh, dear. However. <laughs> I've got I've got to try and pick it up. It could. It's going to be. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Right. That's it for the Widows. Okay. We're on to turn five. So that was not the best turn for Ben there. But it's a lot of this is going to come down to whether I can actually pick the ball up, I think. So it's turn five. So you've got... You've got to get moving. Yeah, I mean, thankfully, that pushed the ball in the right direction. But it pushed the player in the wrong one. We'll see. Okay. So I think first things first, before I go and try and pick it up, I'm just going to try and get a body on him. So let's move this chap across. Two, three, four, 
five, which will mean you've either got to blitz out or push him or roll some sort of dice at least. <laughs> <laughs> another opportunity to roll another exactly, one. Exactly, I think that's it. The more you're rolling, the more you're failing. <laughs> we'll move this guy as well. So one, two, three, four, five. Just again to get another body on. We may as well try and move the tree man. He does not take root. And he's going to go one, two, again, just to stop you jumping up and kind of forcing a bit there. And then nothing for it, but we'll try and pick it up. One, two, three, four, five. Three plus. He, he does gets it. it. And, and now, now we're that. one, two, three, four, five away. So. Uh, so I'm not going to risk the go for it. Right. And I'm going to I'm going to make you roll the dice. <laughs> Got a breakaway again, we can't stop him, but we do have an easy blitz, said no one ever. One, two, three, four, five, six. But I think we should probably try and bring someone else back first. Although it might cost me. Yeah. This guy's got dodge, surely he can pass. <laughs> dodge is to there. He's alright, he's good. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh. Go for it. Dice. So he makes it. And I was hoping for a cheeky one there, just to one, two, three. make my turn less complicated. Four, five. Ooh, covering him. And then we'll go for the blitz. So dodge to there. Yeah. Ooh, he's done so it. One, uh, two, three, four, five. And then the block. Ooh, dodge, he's got saving dodge. the day, and no strip ball anymore. So we'll follow up, and then I think we'll lift this guy up over here and dodge him away. There it is. <laughs> you try it too many times. He's fine. He is okay. So he goes down, and that is it for the Wood Elves. Okay, so we've got a few options here. We've obviously got. So this guy is strength two, isn't he? Yeah. So I mean that's an option there. So what's for the best? What's for the best? So here we'd have a four plus three plus. Oh he's stunty, he ignores tackle zones. Perfect. So it is so just one, a three plus. Three, four, five, go for it. Uh okay, so I think I'm just gonna move some bodies around. So one, two, three. One, two, we will try and move the tree man. One, two. And then I think, to be honest, let's just go for it. So here's the big one. So he is going to attempt to move. So a three plus. Three plus. So that's number one. One, two. He gets it. Three, four, five. And this is the roll we all love. Go for it into the end zone. Oh, oh he's done it! <laughs> Halflings get the touchdown. So we've got three guys knocked out for Wood Elves. So Leap Catcher does not come back. Lineman does. War Dancer. Oh, Ooh, that's important. He's out. So we've got a Lineman back. Yeah. So we've also got a Halfling knocked out. Okay. And on a four plus, he comes back. <laughs> he's back in the game. But I feel like we should get a fresh pair of legs on. <laughs> So it's going to be Wood Elf turn six when they receive, so they've got one turn, so. Okay, let's go for the ball placement. And I've just worked out <laughs> this it's will be the middle in terms of both hopefully zones. not getting it off the pitch. So 2d6 and a d8, let's scatter the ball. So we are going eight and we're taking the lowest, so three. So which way is eight? That eight. way. One, two, three. That's not a bad kick. So we're looking for a result of three, a riot, to get the Wood Elves <laughs> that extra turn to score. See what we can do. It's a nine. Which is quick snap. So on a quick snap, all of my guys get to move one square. So let's just get a bit closer to the ball. Um, there's not really much point. So what we should do is move him up and get a single blitz. And then uh, scatter the ball, please. Okay, let's see where it goes. It's a one, so back towards you. 
and then Wood Elf turn six. So it's one turn. All we're going to do is one, two, three, <laughs> four, five. You in particular. <laughs> sucker punch that halfling. Oh, and right it in the jaw. Pays off. Where's he want him? Just straight back. And it's a seven. So it breaks. And I made the silly mistake of putting a catcher there. So this could be important. No, he's no, fine. He's fine. That does take us to the half, which importantly means we get another chance to bring back the board answer. So leap guy first. He's back. Board answer. There he is. Oh. Back to full complement. We are back up to seven. Before we do the kick, it's Master Chef time. So, three dice in. Just the one. Ooh, just that, one. You know, that's fine. fine. Evens out. And somehow my leader guy survived, so I've still got my leader reroll. So, I'm deployed, you're deployed, you're kicking to me because I kicked you in the first half. Absolutely. Where would you like the ball so this time? Right on this fellow's head. Right on him. Okay, so okay. I'll just put it in front of him. Smash job, and then 2d6 and a d8 from him. Okay. So, so three. Three to four. So it's straight back. One, two, <laughs> three. So it's behind the thrower because you popped him on his head. So yep. One, two, three. And then kick off table. A ten. Oh, that was what you rolled, wasn't it? Yeah. So this is a charge. So you get to choose zero to three and then move everybody that exact amount forward, which can be great for treemen, but it would leave your backfield empty. So it's an interesting choice. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for two. Just, just bring them in. Just get them into the centre. And then scatter the ball. Okay, I know exactly where I was going to go. What do I need? A five, come on. You reckon? No, it's a seven. Which is sideways. there. That's still not too bad. So, the ball is there. It's reasonably safe at the moment. But who do I want to score? I think the board answer is a pretty great shout. He's got good movement and I've got some mobility there. But I do want him to blitz. But again, he's still pretty safe. So, a bit uh, of an all-star, isn't he, really? <laughs> war dance is so important. Thrower. One. Yeah, safe move first, that's it. He picks <laughs> up the <laughs> ball. Got it, got it. Yeah, one, two, three. And he'll pass it off to the war dancer. Okay. He gets it. So that is just a handoff, not a pass. Don't want to risk rolling those extra dice. So now we can literally just run riot. With the war dancer, but let's put let's give him some friends. One, two, <laughs> three, four, five. No one likes you. And then uh, he'll go five there, and then six there. We'll just get him in the mix, and then we'll blitz with the war dancer. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's two dice and a pow. So we'll pop him there. So that's six, and then seven. Let's roll the armor for that guy. Nothing at all. Hopefully that's my one's gone for a bit. Tickled him down to the floor. <laughs> yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So and he's got another bit of movement, hasn't he? I think eight to there. And then we'll bring up catcher. One, two, three, four, five, six, um, seven, eight. So it's risky. Uh, in fact, he's going to go there instead. I forgot that the guy was right next door to him. <laughs> Bye. And, which means he can go there, which is still risky. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we'll go for it to there. Okay, in that tackle zone. Setting up a lovely chain push here. It's, it's, quite, it's quite scary. <laughs> and we will go. One, two, three, four, five, six. See if we can't lure you away from him. And we've got the catcher left. Now this catcher's got leap, which means I can do silly things. I shouldn't. <laughs> but it's fun. But I can. Uh, you've got five more turns after this to score. Yeah. You'll be fine. Might be better off just, is there a better way to defend? I think we'll just bring him up. One, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. And <laughs> we'll, we'll leave him there, I think. And then hopefully, won't get punished. 
new advertising campaign. <laughs> just recovering from uh, Ben's <laughs> advert for Lock and Fresh. <laughs> uh, and it's Halfling Turn 1. So that was pretty blistering. Um, the question is what you're going to try and do, whether you're going to try and stool it out, or whether you're going to go for the quick one and then try and get the 2 one, which I think is probably your best bet. I think it is the only way to win this. So I really just need to chuck some halflings in there really and uh, see what happens. Literally chucking halflings is probably not a terrible idea. No, no, it could work. Especially but if it lands on his head. Well, there is target saturation. Right so, there. let's start off by standing this jolly guy up because he takes up four tackle zones. <laughs> <laughs> I think what we'll do is we'll just try and get in the way of it. So, one, two, three, four, five, and then we'll go for it. Okay, two plus. There it is. <laughs> but you've got your reroll. But it's. I'm. I'm not going to waste it now. You're just going to give the touchdown. Yeah. I think that's probably sensible. So, so let's roll some go armor. For the armor. Ooh, Ooh. nine. Oh, Ooh, there first, it is. First casualty of the match. Cleaned he, by the floor. He's done by himself. <laughs> what, what happens to him then? Just for posterity. Oh, okay. He misses next game. Fine. But we are running resurrection rules here, so it's okay. Turn two for the Wood Elves. And as Ian pointed out earlier, what we need to do is get a quick score in. However. Yes, yeah, whether you're going to chance it. There is, fire. There, is a little, there is a little block we can do here first, and we'll, we'll go for it. He will block this halfling here. He does only get uh, two dice. He gets three. Yeah, because you've got so the support there, from your capture. There. So three there. dice. What could possibly go wrong? That. Push. push that both push. down. It's a safe push. We'll take the push. He can go there. And then the war dancer will run it in for the touchdown. Halflings are set. Wood elves are set. Let's pop the ball. Now, I think... I think we need to get this over and done with. <laughs> so we're going to go there. So it might be a touchback, but if it is, at least it will speed out. So 2d6 and a d8. Four squares to seven. One, two, three, four. Not bad. And kickoff is a seven, which is weather. Nine, which is decent weather, but the wind gusts it to six. Oh, no. there. Well, could go off. So six, seven, eight, balls off the court. It's a two. Side. Bam. Okay. okay. That's not a bad kick. Okay, well, it's a little bit disastrous, but we'll see what we can do with it. I'm gonna try something here. So let's just move a safety on. So turn two for me. One, two, three, four, five. So just a body around the ball in case. Let's just move the rest of the team up a bit. One, two, three, four. Five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then we're going for a pickup. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, three plus, and you do still have your reroll, which will be used. There you go. <laughs> okay, it's we've, a five. we've got the ball. Then. So they have sprint, so they can go for it a third time. That's really handy to know, actually. So we'll, we'll go for it here. Literally. He's okay. So that's one. One more. Makes it. He gets it. Right, we're going to try a throw team, mate. Oh, fantastic. With uh, this tree man, because they can do the move first. They can, absolutely. So take root. We're it's fine. It's a four. He's okay. So we will go one, two, and, and nominate this fellow. So I, th I think Ben's positioned pretty well here. He's got a good line, unintentionally perhaps. But no, 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 completely. One, two, three, four. He's going to bounce anyway, so we'll put him right there. Remember, it's minus one for landing in tackle zones. So I set my guys down. But deep. he has, yeah. So he is like probably going to land in the tackle zone. Or well, we'll see. Someone. So two plus to make the catch. On a one, he drops him right where he is. Whee! There we go. <laughs> okay, I'm two for two for foreshadowing. And uh, if you break the armour, uh, he dies. Nice, no, fine. Oh, it didn't it's work six. out. But, but you know what? Before that even happens, he gets a chance to land normally. So on a four plus, he's fine. 
Nope. No. He, okay. So you dropped him. So where He's where would he drop? To? Exactly where the square is. At, where is that already? Okay. And then the ball is going to bounce. Yep. Uh, one. To one. Diagonally forward into that square. Ah. So that's not a bad bounce. No, no. I mean, if nothing else, I've got some bodies around it now. It was a heroic attempt. It could have been beautiful. I don't have sure hands with this guy, so I don't know why I keep trying to pick the ball up with him. <laughs> Seems a pro He's a thrower. You kind of expect him to, do. to have the ball, I guess. So let's go. One, two, three, four. Uh, four, five. We'll pop him there. And then we will blitz with. Is it a wall dancer? dancer? <laughs> yeah. One, two, three. And two dice. Uh, I will take the both down. So one, two, three, four for the blitz. Uh, breaks eight, his armor. Breaks the armor. And KO. He is knocked out. So one, two, three, four, five, and then six onto the ball. So three plus. Three plus. Lead a reroll. Let's get this done. There we go. So reroll's gone. Goodbye reroll. <laughs> so one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, and then six to there. So we'll dodge. Makes it. And then seven, eight. And we're going to do a weird thing. We're going to cage with elves. One, two, three, four. There. And then strong side is probably there. This catcher is going to go there. And this one's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, seven, <laughs> five, <laughs> four. Seize the tree man. <laughs> and um, no, to, yeah, no, we're done. So, halfling turn three. So, the elves have decided to play the role of dwarves. No fun here. <laughs> Are they fun anyway, wood elves? Wood elves, no. <laughs> no. They've not been fun so far this season. Okay, so, let's see what we can do here. This war dance has made it nine turns. No, actually, he didn't, did he? <laughs> no, he went out first half. No, he took a little break. <laughs> oh, dear. He'll sit on the bench. Okay. Such a prima donna. There's a few options here. Now, I can obviously try and chip the corners of your cage off, but then you'll just leg it anyway. So I think I'm going to try either lugging some people in there or blitzing in there. Why not both? Because I've got a stunty. It's deciding which one to do first, because it will inevitably fail. <laughs> so, if we just take up some tackle zones. Which tree man's got break tackle? The one that's really far oh, back. Oh, that's <laughs> sad. So let's just go one, two, three in there. Let's just go one, two, three, four, five. Uh, we'll, we'll try and move this tree man first. Yep. Chonk, chonk. We will... I'm not going to risk taking root actually with him because if I move forward you're coming this way anyway. Let's just try a, uh, a blitz here <laughs> with this plucky fellow. Okay. So he's going to go one, two, three. So a dodge to there. So stunty is just a straight three plus. He makes it. Yep. Four. And then again, he yep. does it with the fork and knife. And we're going. Two dice, you choose. The double, you choose in fact. Oh wait, yeah. No. <laughs> I'm tiny. How good would that be? Oh, that's not bad. I will take the push. Yeah, need some strip ball on that guy. <laughs> hey, you do get to choose a level. That's good at uh, the end of the game. Although, is it this chap who has sidestep? Oh my gosh. Rick, excellent choice. We will sidestep to there. Not that it hugely matters. Will you uh, fall up? Into the death cage of elves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mosh pit. Yeah, this guy deserves a medal for just trying. Okay. Like I said earlier, we had two options, and we'll go for the second one now. The tree man here is going to attempt to oh, lug fantastic. this fellow as a projectile. So take so root. Take root. He's no. okay. So, where so, would you like him to go? Uh, You've got a token if you need it. But. So short range is up to three, yeah? Yeah, but they're both a two plus, because you've got strong arms, so... So what I am going to do then is take advantage of the fact I can move yeah. first. Yeah. Go one, two. So now so you're at minus one. But plus one for strong arm. Exactly. So you're only looking for a short pass here. And which lucky chap is going to get lugged? 
Don't go for the catcher, surely. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a big glove. He does. He can <laughs> land on it. The only thing is, he's obviously here, which would mean it's another tackle zone for him dodging out of. That is true. Let's go for him. Okay, okay. so he is going to go. Uh, where are you throwing? Are you throwing at the war dancer? Yes, we'll go on the war dancer's head. All right, so uh, two. I think I've got just as much chance of hitting my guys. Yeah. Okay, so the throw is made. So he flies through the air and let's scatter him. So one. You say three. So this way. Diagonally there. Yep. Yeah. Two. There. Okay, so we can't hit him, but we might get in a sackle zone. And six. Which is there. Hey. So that is a six to land now because he's in my one, two, three tackle zones. Easy. We. And he's, <laughs> he's down. Dacks it. That is not a turnover. And it's not even an armor break. Okay. So, just trying to remember, had he moved? Had he moved? Got up the catcher. Uh, I don't. I don't know if he had. I oh, know he had actually because he was taking up his tackle zone. Oh, so yes. that I could for do the, the blitz. For the blitz. Yeah, the blitz. yeah. So Which yeah, he's done. So you've got that guy, is it left? Yeah. Who could do a one die? Yeah. <laughs> but he's going to try and dodge out. Okay. So we'll go. Let me just count this out. One, two, three, four. I'm just trying to do some halfing stuff. One. Fails. Dodge reroll. Dodge reroll. Yeah. So that's one. Two. So that's another dodge. Uh, no, he was here. Oh, right, yeah, my So he went bit. one. Two. And we'll leave him there. Okay. And pop over to you. Over here, we are going to go for a block with this wood elf. So he will take him. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, he will go for him. And that's two dice. That's the dodge. And a push. Push is fine. That's all we're looking for. He will follow up. I don't know why, but he might as well. And then. Oh, there's that guy there. Right. Let's see if we can't just chain push this halfling around. So he will block him. Yep. So that is three dice. <laughs> Most it's, definitely. It's the, the halfling mosh pit. We'll take the push. We'll push him there. And so I'll follow up. Game of uh, pinball here, I and think. This lineman will push him. I'm not even going to say block because it's a push. There we go. Oh, I see what's okay. going to go on here. So he goes there. Oh, we'll okay. Follow up. Oh, yeah, fair enough. I wondered if you could find a way to propel your war dancer forward. No, 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 no. Just wanted to clear him out so that he could do a blitz. <laughs> He's One, ballsy. Two. So straight into there and two dice. That's a power. That'll Take do the it. power. We'll pop him there. So one, two, three. And then doesn't break the armor. Four, five, six, seven, eight. To there. So tree man, one, two, three, blitz. <laughs> it's gonna be it's Off gonna be pitch. a tough one. So I think we're gonna have to do a very horrible thing here and go one, two, three, four, five. Tag that tree man in. Now that is the guy with break tackle, but yes, I think you have to move around so much now that Yeah, if you're not on the floor, you're safe. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's go and we will dodge it. Oh no, everyone's gone. That's it. Except for this cat. No, that catcher. That catcher hasn't done anything yet, but he is in a tackle zone. So let's see if he can't run interference. So he will go to there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, good move. Good a bit of defense. And let's see how it goes. Okay, so halfling turn four. And actually, Ben's played a blinder there. Because with this guy with break tackle, he's still getting around on a two plus. Only for the first dodge. Okay. Well, it's definitely shut me down because I haven't got the movement. There's just to not get through the square zone. It's going to cost me at least one catcher, I think. But well, there. Well, I kind of want to stop you scoring, to be honest. So I think I've got other plans. Oh, this would be interesting. In using his break tackle to try and lug him down here and try a cheeky, cheeky block. Oh, I like it. Could be. So we'll, we'll try and stand this guy up. Well, we will stand this guy up first. <laughs> yeah. No dice needed. He doesn't have to. He's not a tree man. So who's he? He's just a guy and he's just pro. Okay, so he can get up. So one, two, three. Mm, 
Ooh, it's whether I risk trying to get him on there. Because it's not a certain thing. So no, I won't. I'll pop him there. Because if I fail, I might get a block. So, let's just try the throw teammate. No, he's so fine. Passes take root. Gonna pop. Go there. So, break, tackle, dodge. And he gets it. He's hit. good. And he is going to pick up this fling that hasn't done anything yet. Yep. Two, three. So, we're going to go... Because we don't want to end up off the pitch, actually. So, we're going to go here. So, it's within okay. three. One, two, three. Well, it, it's actually a, a long... A longer one, but you're not minus attack zone, so it's still a two plus. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. So So I could actually go further. You could, yeah. So I could go one, two, three, four, five, six, technically. Yeah. So can I go there? And up to three left or right. So I could go here. You could absolutely go. Okay, there. we'll we'll go there. Alright, so two plus to make the throw. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so he is now over here. In the air somewhere. And then where does he go? So he scatter. Three. So diagonally one. back, not terrible. That is two. <laughs> okay, one, two, three, he's off the pitch. It's oh, he's six. good, he's good. Oh, perfect. That's not bad. So he just needs to land now on a four plus. That's, that's all he needs to do. Oh, yes, he's done it. Utterly heroic there. Is he going to be a hero today? Okay. Well, I mean, I'm. Yeah, anything else I do has got the risk of failing before I do this, and I need to get this done. So we'll go for the blitz. Two die up <laughs> blitz. Here we go. Double power. Close. <laughs> but I feel I'm will, going down. We will take the skull, and let's roll some armor. Seven. Yeah. Oh, he's casualty. Yeah, he's uh, seriously injured. So the only casualties you've achieved. It, well, I've, anyone's achieved in this game was one failing dodge at a halfling and another one d two die heroic <laughs> block. <laughs> Sounds good. I, it had to be tried, to be fair. And I think rather than try and stall out, the ward answer is just going to grab another touchdown. One, two, three, four, five, touchdown. Two, one. So, you have got a guy knocked out. I do indeed. So, four plus, he's back in. Is he coming back? Yes. Super. Um, yeah, I decided it was best to score. You're going to have two turns now, but then you've, you've got that one turn touchdown opportunity anyway, so you're always going to get one turn. So You may as well have another turn to score if... Well, let's see. We'll see what we can do. Wood Elves are deployed for the kick, and again, we've gone in deep formation to, to try and defend against the throw teammate. And, yeah. Pretty much one strategy going on here. Classic. Uh, we all know what it is. So let's not risk it. Let's make you roll the dice to pick it up. Uh, one square to five. So back up there. And then the kickoff is weather again. It's a seven. So nice weather. The wind blows it to the seven. And then the ball bounces. <laughs> oh no, we're going to end up with the tree, man. With the ball, aren't we? Here we go. Oh, so please don't catch it. Six plus. Oh, a few. Okay. He drops it. <laughs> and it goes eight. There. That was a pretty good kick for the halflings. <laughs> so, halfling turn five. So, pretty much, like I said, we've got one one real chance at scoring here. So I think what we need to do is kind of buffer this area first, because I am going to need to do a handoff so that he can throw and then he can move afterwards. Now, that's why they've got a catch. So let's see if that comes into play. But first of all, let's just surround that ball. Two, three, four five so I've got two two chances potentially but it's going to depend on how quickly Ben can come and we've seen they are pretty damn quick two three four five I'm gonna go one two three four five I'll try and move this tree man he moves one two And then we are going to go for a pickup and a handoff. One, two. Fails the pickup. But hopefully, someone useful will catch it. We get a good scatter. We've got a six, which is in an empty square, unfortunately. So, oh, wow. that war dance is licking his lips. That's unfortunate. 
the halflings have had a bit of bad luck and we really need to capitalize on this opportunity <laughs> one two three four five six let's feed him to there one two three four five six seven and as Ian suggested we should go for a what answer blitz <laughs> one two three four five six seven to there and then the blitz on the catcher push double push that's fine so pop him behind the tree man are you uh, following <coughs> yes goodbye war dancer <laughs> and we can probably get some more people in a position to be annoying here one two three five six seven eight I'm got to leave him there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then I'm going to have to go for it into that square there. He makes it again. Just putting that extra tackle zone on the tree man. Because yeah, this is the guy without break tackle, unfortunately. And I hope he's going to want. If they get the ball, he's going to be the one that uh, that does the thing. So this. Wood Elf, who does not have short hands, even though I think he does. One, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven. It's going for it. Minus two. Oh, <laughs> elves. <laughs> and you know what? He's just going to stay put. <laughs> okay, halfling turn six. So a lot has really got to fall into place <laughs> to get into any kind of scoring position here but it is possible it's very possible so i'm actually going to start with a tree man block goodbye with this okay. fellow okay against your war dancer so you don't need to take root because uh well it might affect following up yeah because um, i think i will want to follow up if i can he's fine he is getting one support yeah. but you are also getting yeah so one it's support. Just, just two dice just oh is that all? it's the worst block they've made all day Okay, he's got both of those. He does, and he's got sidestep. So I will tuck him in. I'm going in front. There, yeah. Okay. I don't know if that's wise, it's just a good opportunity to use the skill. Yes, <laughs> demonstrate. And are you following up with the tree man? Uh, so that would be into there, wouldn't it? Yeah. Uh, doesn't actually help me. So, no. We'll stay there. Okay. Then I think what we've got to do is a blitz with a halfling. Um, it's going to have to be with the catcher so that I get the two supports there. Okay. So, one. And that is a two die block. Oh, wow, you get it. Okay. Now, here's where we've got to hope the ball doesn't go off. So, we'll go down there. Uh, I'm not going to follow up because I don't actually want to catch the ball. With that guy, absolutely. So, roll that armour. Nope. He's okay. He's and then fine. scatter the ball. So, it's, it's a five. five. So, straight, straight back. Straight back behind him. Okay, so here's what I need to do I need to pick the ball up with him. Yep. Hand it off to him. And then get the other tree And then get the other tree man to move across. Ooh. And hurl him down the pitch. So it was only, uh, what, five rolls? <laughs> hey, it's less than throwing a goblin. Okay, yeah, so we'll do that. We'll attempt a handoff. Three plus. There you get it. Okay, first part successful. So, so one. one. Two. And a handoff on a three plus again. Unfortunately, not my catcher. He's he got gets it. gets it. Tree man is going to attempt to throw... Okay, so take root. <laughs> take root first of all. He's he gets fine. It. So one, two, and let me have a look at the range. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So I need to get him to within five, though, don't I? Really, or it's going to be some go for it. So we've got here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I need to go at least here, which is going to push me into. Which you can't do with your team. Do. Hmm. So I've got to hope for a good scatter, really. Yeah. Okay, we'll go there. 
He makes, makes the throw. Okay, let's pop him there. And then let's get scattering. So Come on, North Wind. He, where's he headed? So <laughs> one, four, six. Two. Okay. Sideways, that's, that's not bad. That's fine, that's fine. Four. Forward, that's good. And we need another one, four, or six. Two. It's a two. So can we actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? You can do it. It's doable. So but four plus, two <laughs> plus, two plus. <laughs> yes, he's oh, landed he it. He makes the land. And he's going to probably. So one, two, three, four, five. Go for it. Go for it. So five. Here we go. Here we are. For the, for the tie, last second. He's done it! He gets <laughs> it. Heroic. This half leg has saved it for a tie. <laughs> that takes us to full time. Ian, fantastic Excellent game. game. That was really fun. Absolutely Thank fantastic. You. Okay, so that's it for a <laughs> heck of a game. Really good. Um, I, right, straight off the bat, Wood Elves, four games, winless. <sighs> Which is crazy. So we've, we've spoken a lot on the series about the build and whether two war dancers instead of a throw and two catchers would have been better off. I don't. I still don't know because they wouldn't have leader. No, but you, you've got more natural rerolls with the dodge. And yeah, the block. But the catchers have that uh, dodge anyway. It's a tough one. It's a tough one. Anyway, they've managed to go zero, two, and two. The halflings putting off that draw <laughs> with the very last turn oh, that was throw beautiful. teammate, which was excellently the done. The wind was blowing in the right direction. Literally. <laughs> twice. Um, the fantastic equaliser and really just shows how great halflings yeah, are. Great fun. Uh, so that puts them at 0-2-2 and two as well. No, 0-1-2. Uh, and two. So the chaoslings have got to play the humans in the last round. If they win that, it'll be tiebreakers to determine whether they go in above the wood elves or not. If they lose it, then they're out, and the Wood Elves go in. And if they draw it, they get in. So we're going to do skills for both teams, because we're still not sure which one's going to get dropped. Mm. But before we get to that, uh, how did your Halflings perform for you? Fantastic. <laughs> they're, a, they're such a good fun team. Uh, obviously, some issues around the ball handling and picking up the ball as ever, but I think I very much find that in sevens. It, if you've only got AG3 players, it's, dropping the ball it's can tough. be a real problem. And actually getting the ball and picking it up, which and, is where the elves... Uh, ah, well, they've got that 2 plus do everything, but I genuinely, in the first half, thought my thrower had short hands. So I was just <laughs> going I was going and doing stuff, and he was pulling it off, and it wasn't until uh, they got to the second half, I was like, oh, actually, he doesn't have short hands. Uh, <laughs> I feel like he should have short hands, but, but yeah, it does make such a difference. Mm. And that's the beautiful thing about sevens, is you've only got four positionals, and as you develop skills, these guys get characteristics and they become really important. Um, and talking about skills and making players really important, Chaoslings, they get a double skill, which you can use as a, as a normal. And we need to put it on a player because they're playing humans next round. And they need a tie or a win to get into the finals. What are your thoughts? Um, well, like I just said, some issues around ball handling. So yeah. I'm actually going to give uh, a standard halfling. Let's go for Yolanda Greenhands. Yolanda, yeah. I'm going to give her sure hands. I think that's a really good idea. Because what I found is you to do the throw teammate, you need that chain of a player picking up the ball, yep. handing it off to the catcher who's with sure hands. Yeah. Uh, the, sorry, catch. With, uh, with catch. Yeah. Gives you the re-roll as well. It makes it easier. Now, the throw being on a two plus, you know what? You're either going to make that yeah. or, or you just weren't going to make yeah, it in the first exactly. place. Exactly. But having that catch made that pickup feel really vulnerable because mm. it was like, ooh, it's tough. So I think sure hands is a fantastic one. And I ran these guys in our sevens tournament earlier this year, and I did have a, a guy with sure hands, yeah. and it was superb. Yeah, because you're exactly right. You're like, right, three plus with a reroll, three plus, and then to hand off three plus with a reroll, yeah. that they're, they're really good odds. And then a two plus, and then a two plus for the throw, and then you've got that team reroll for the landing on a four plus. Yeah. Which, which takes it from astronomical to really good. So one in nine failure, one in nine failure, one in six failure, and then a 50-50 at the end. Which, you know, <laughs> is more As we've than... we've seen, <laughs> with a couple of really good scatters, yeah. can, can pull that can pull that can around. Pull it out of the bag. No, oh, fantastic. <laughs> uh, the Wood Elves played better this round. Yeah. Uh, Strip Ball War Dancer did a good job. 
Yes, yeah, he was having, in having that real trouble actually. Did keep him on there as well. So at least a couple of times he managed to get the ball yeah. on a push. That, that, and against Dodge as well. If, yes. he, if you hadn't had Dodge, you would have got a good couple of mm. hard sacks, but a strip sack was just as good. Um, and as the players develop, that's going to be even yeah. more useful when you've got blodgers oh, running around. Exactly. So, one more skill for the Wood Elves. So, this is a normal skill. What do you think? What do we think we saw? I know what I reckon. Uh, let's think. And it is boring. Uh, you said short hands, haven't you? Short hands on the thrower. Uh, There's one reroll on leader, and you need that for leap. You give that thrower that short hands, he's dodging in, because you know you get into a zone and you've got that inbuilt reroll. I think short hands. It's a bit... I mean, the other thing you could do, so it's a normal skill, did you say? Yeah. So Would be to say, give the catcher, is this nerves of steel normal for them? It, it isn't, that's a pass. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, that's enough. why the pro elf um, catches are but so good. I mean, good. for the thrower, because there was a lot of opportunities where... The ball was in the middle of a scrum. He could dink and dunk. Just to be able to jump in there. But then, is he, how is he going to pick it up? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is tough. Yeah. I think I will go for the short hands, because if he gets into the final, it will help just that protection there. Mm -hmm. And if your thrower's in that you know, that tough place, then actually he's got a better chance of grabbing it. So we're going to go short hands for Glodrill Okam. Um, mostly because I keep thinking he has it anyway. <laughs> yeah. So I think that's as good I a reason as anything. Conditioned playing humans, isn't it? <laughs> it is. The guy throwing the, the guy ball with has the ball hands. gets a re-roll. <laughs> stuck uh, to his hand. Yeah, just go and glue balls to all your players <laughs> and, and, and you, your job done. So, um, Ian, thank you ever so much for, My pleasure. for, for joining us for that. Yeah, that was thoroughly really enjoyable. Really good game. And um, I'm very interested to see which of these teams goes through to the final because... The, the, the halflings just can't lose <laughs> it's amazing yeah lovely well Go um things. yeah great <laughs> exactly uh thanks everybody very much for, for watching and um see you again next week